hello to everyone um, on this Saturday, this weekend. Uh, hello to each and every one of you. This is your brother, your host. On those who have an ear, let them hear um, Yeshua Jesus television. Uh, come on in, brothers and sisters. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Greetings to you, each and every one of you. Um, on this Saturday, I believe it is May the 11th, May the 11th, 2019. God bless each and every one of you. Uh, I thank you for those who tune in. Uh, thank you for those who subscribe to my YouTube channel, King Ryan Ministries. Um, and as I said, and I'm going to keep saying on many other videos and, uh, broadcasts, um, my job is to keep those who are asleep awake, keep you aware, keep you walking upright, keep you walking in the ways of righteousness and to give insight and to give enlightenment according to the word. Um, and my job is to speak truth. We live in this world that is lying, tell us lies. While you have all the time in the world, please seek God and please humble yourself to receive knowledge. Please. Please, 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 please. Do not. Do not uh, ignore truth. Please learn. The Bible tells us um, that um, we will perish for lack of knowledge. For my people will perish for lack of knowledge. Hosea 4, 6. So please get your knowledge. Knowledge is free. Don't be one of these sheeple people who are just walking around here, just existing, just like it is what it is. They're going to do what they want to do. Don't have a mindset like that. Take the time to learn. Take the time to get insight. Take the time to get information. It is here. That's just, it's just something I just wanted to just share with you all because I'm on that journey. I've been on that journey for a minute, and it feels so good to have wisdom and knowledge. And also apply that wisdom and knowledge. But uh, I wanted to talk to you all about those of you who are going to be watching now. You're going to be watching later. Um you're going to be watching tomorrow. Uh, I wanted to talk about um, uh, why <clears throat> why younger men uh, and why men uh, are deciding to pursue women and date women that are a little older than them. Um. That's what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to share those things with you all. And I can honestly say, one of the reasons I do believe that is because um, it's because of how um, in this time, how some of the women are today how some of the younger women are today. Um, you have some younger women who still want to, you know, they want to party. They want to club. These are just my points, my reasons. And if you want to join in, join in. Um, you want to tune in, tune in. This is just my reason and these are my points. You have some younger women um, who just want to still, as I mentioned, they just want to just party and they just want to just, they just want to do, you know, like other things like their mind is on, as I said, uh, being young, uh, like they always say, let's be young and dumb. That's the motto for today. Be young and dumb. You know what I mean? That means like party, uh, you know, drink, be wild, have many boyfriends and many girlfriends and be promiscuous. And there are not a lot of young men and women like that, but 
these are just my reasonings for why certain young men they are pursuing and dating women that are older than them is because of some of these older women who are a little older they may have their mind right they have their mind right they have their stuff in order they 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 they, they want to have a family and you know what i mean like they can really hold a home down like they can they take care of their own they they, they know what they want you see the sisters today uh, like I said to, before, they want to just, um, like I said, possibly just party mentally, not even together. Like mentally, spiritually, some of these younger women, they don't have their mind together. And it's nothing wrong with that uh, because you are young. But there are some who just want to just, like I said, just want to just do what they want to do. They just want to just still party, still lay up. Uh, a lot of younger women, they don't know how to cook. They don't know how to hold down the house. You have a lot of younger women who just want to just look pretty and get in the mirror and just put on makeup and just, you know what I mean? Like, they just want to look like a mannequin. They just want to look like a Barbie doll. They just want to look beautiful on the outside. They just want to walk around and they care about their Facebook posts and how much hearts and likes and shares they receive. But when it comes down to reality, some younger women, they don't know how to cook. They don't know how to have a conversation. As I said, they still want to go club. They still want to go party. They still want to do me. And there are certain young men. Um, and I should have entitled it the same way. It's certain young men. Um, and there's certain young women who are the same way. There, there's certain young women out there. So I got to be, I got to, um, how can I say this? I have to make this broad, this broad because there are young women who are like 22, 23, 24, 25, and they may have a man older than them. So I should have, I should have put that in the caption. Um, but I guess I'll talk about that as well. Uh, I'll do that later. That's why I said this is part one. So I'm not going to get on, um, I'm not going to get on the sisters. I'm going to get on the sisters, uh, later. Why do younger women like older men? Um, but right now we're talking about why younger brothers pursue and date and or marry older women. Um, not all the times women, uh, older women have their minds together because it doesn't matter about age. There are certain young, there are certain, uh, older women who don't have their self together, who still acts like they're 20. They still act like they're 18. So don't get me twisted. Don't, don't, don't get me twisted. I'm just saying my reasons and stating why certain young men, they look towards an older woman. Uh, an older women and a younger woman, I mean, an older woman may have more substance. Uh, that's another reason. When you talk to her, she, you can have a conversation with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, and in all actuality, I can use, I use myself as an example. You know what I mean? Um, I am 28 years old. Um, when I speak to my peers that's around my age, young sisters, a lot of them like, before I even got married, they like, you sound like you're older. Like, you talk like you're an older man. Or they'll say, you have an old soul. This is what they'll say. They're like, oh, you're young. Like, why are you getting married so so young? You have an old soul and all this other stuff. I, I've never been a person that wants to party, go club, go do all this stuff. I don't want to see my woman coming home drunk, falling all over the ground. And there's certain younger men that likes that. Cause you will have a you'll have an older woman who say, you know what? I already done club, I already done a party, I did all that stuff before. I just want a home, I want I want I want a husband, you know, I, I want to come home to you. And there are some younger men who have the mental capacity and that they are mature enough to be like, you know what, that's why I want this, that's why I want this woman that's a little older than me. Honestly, I'm I'm gonna make a bold statement, and some of you who probably know me already know this. I can actually deal with an older woman better than my own peers because their mind is so lost. It's so it's so small. They have small thinking. They like I said, they still want to be wild. They still want to be childish. And it's like honestly, and it's probably other younger men out there like we I don't got time for that. And this other younger they like, how do you know what you got time for? I just know which direction I'm going to go. And there are other young men who feel the same way. They know what direction they want to go. Because, like I said, you have the woman with the substance. And and, and they may call the older women cougars. Uh, I don't care what people say. That's that's one thing, young brothers. Don't care what nobody say. Do, do not care. 
do not care what anybody says. Oh, y'all seven, eight years apart. So what? So what? This woman and me, if you and the woman, young brothers, y'all are spiritually connecting with each other. She holds down the house. You holding down the house. You paying bills. You're not trying to live together and not marry. You're not trying to play house and play a husband. And she's not trying to play a wife. Y'all actually are trying to lay some foundational brick down. Live with substance. Live with integrity. Live with morals. Go ahead and do that. But when it comes to the younger generation, as I said, they don't, they don't understand that. I, before I got married, I've dealt with girls that are around my age. They do not understand. They did not understand me at all. It's like me speaking French to them. And then I was choosing the wrong women. I was choosing the wrong young women. I mean, get jealous over silly things, but look at the age. Look at, look at the mind. Get jealous over the silliest thing. I remember I gave a woman a compliment. I gave a young woman a compliment when I was with my ex-girlfriend. And this and my ex-girlfriend told me to go be with the girl that I gave a compliment with. I was like, wow, man, like the young women in this generation, they're so childish. And that's why these these younger sisters in their mid-20s or late 20s, they're losing the brothers who are great men. You who are great men. Just because a man is older and a woman is older, like 40, 38. And a man is like 40, 38. That doesn't mean that he knows how to take care of house. This woman who is 38, 39 and get with a dude who 28, 27. He can be taking care of house better than the older guy. We need to stop looking at age. Stop looking at age and look at the spirit. Look at the character. But that's what we do. We look at age. Oh, she's too older. He's too older. Look at the spirit. Look at the mind, the heart, how the man is. Look at how the sister is. Like, stop going, oh, you may be a little too older. Now, don't get me wrong. Some, some young man, they deal with, some young man, they deal with women because, deal with older women, you know, so they could use them and they sugar daddy and be their sugar mama and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm just stating why certain young men, I can understand why they would want to have company want to have company with a younger i mean with a a a little more older woman because honestly my opinion and what i'm saying at my mouth even if you sisters are you know like 39 and 40 41 that's not old to me to be honest i'm 28 that's not old a lot of us say, oh, man, like that's old. Old to me is when you're 95, 89, 87. That's not old. <laughs> it's, it's really not. It's really not old. When you're in your late 30s and early 40s, you're young. Even when you're in your mid 40s, you're young. If you're 50, you're young. Some people say, oh, I'm old, man. No, you're not. You're not old. When you're walking with a cane and you hair full of hair, gray, and you old, and it takes you 10 minutes to get to this place or that place, that's when you're old. Like, I, don't, I really honestly don't consider that as being old. It's about if a man can take care of home. It's about if a woman can take care of home. And I'm going to do a part two. I'm going to do a part two concerning uh, the sisters, why sisters are dealing with older men. But as I said today, I'm going to stick to why younger men, they men, they're not teenagers, why younger legal men are looking to pursue older women, date older women, marry older women. Yes, yes, you're right, sister. God bless each and every one of you. I just want to just make this public. God bless my brother Chavis, uh, Sister Terry Ann, Sister... uh, I see you on here, India Bass. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. And many of you that are going to join later on, I don't know who's going to watch this, but I pray that this does bless you and help you. And like I said, on my broadcast, my telecast, I talk about many things, especially when I want to uh, align it, especially when it, when it comes to the word. Y'all know this, but I like speaking on other different things uh, and telling the truth about it. 
basically this whole broadcast, everything is to just tell nothing but the truth about certain subjects. And it's from my perspective, but I like to wrap my perspective and my philosophy from the Bible. But in general, I like to just have conversations, adult conversations. You know what I mean? Amen. Like I like to have adult conversations, things with substance, things that are truthful. And many of you who know me and probably may not know me, this is what I do on here. This is what I do. <laughs> and I understand that, bro. I understand that, Brother Chavis. I have a couple of gray hairs. If you look at my curly hair, I have a couple, but you can't see it. I got a couple of gray hairs. Like You can see two of them. If you really take my head and look at it like that, you can see two gray hairs. But in the Bible, it talk about gray hair is as for wisdom. But we, we, we like to say, oh, you're gray hair because you're old. Gray hair is wisdom. Gray hair can be wisdom. It's in the Bible. It's in the book of Proverbs. I don't know the chapter, but I've read that. I was like, wow. Like, it doesn't mean what people make it look like. Like, like oh, you're an old person. But like I said, and I'm stating truth. Certain young women that I've ran across and probably that you have ran across, they do not. They, they, you talk to these young women, they don't, they don't, they don't have their mind right. Honestly, like, I I was even dating girls around my age. Like I said, my peers. I had a girl who wanted to drink, buying thirty three hundred and something dollars worth of Hennessy bottles, but talk, but but not worrying about having a place to live. You see what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm talking about. Don't have a place to live, but you buy a Hennessy bottles that's three hundred and something dollars. And I'm very transparent. I'm very transparent. This is a real life actual incident that happened. My, my, my ex-girlfriend calling me drunk. I hung up the phone in her face. It's like, why are you calling me drunk? Like, I'm going to church the next morning. You calling me drunk, slurring all over the phone. You see, you see what I'm saying about younger women? How they mind? You know what I'm saying? Like, there are some younger women who are into the Lord, who are into church. But like I said, I know what I'm talking about. There are younger men who want to pursue an older woman. Who are who is a little older because they may tr they may be trying to get their stuff together. They have their career, they have the job. They're all about taking care of the home. They're all about loving only them. They have a cooked meal for you. They have a cooked meal for you. They they want to cook. They want to love on you. And then, like I said, honestly, I see some of these older women, and I'll be like, wow, you know, before I was married, I'm like, wow, like they. They dress better. They, they're more on point. And that's another thing I want to talk about. Another point. They're more on themselves. Certain older women, they're more on themselves, more put together. They put their hair together. They put themselves together. These younger girls, they sloppy. No manners. Bad mannerisms. Bad etiquette. Don't know how to talk. Don't know how to. You can't even have a conversation with some of the younger women that are young and around my age and my peers. You can't have a conversation with them. Their mind is always on social media and always on this and always on that. Always on the silly things. All about the silly things. <laughs> Sister India, I was just reading your comment. You're right. But... I just want to get real with y'all. I just want to be honest with y'all. Like I'm very transparent. I like I love to be very transparent. So that's why I throw out my real actual situations. My real, because we all adults here. Amen. We all are adults. We all are grown. No matter which age bracket you feel you in, we all are adults. But I always can be able to fellowship with somebody older than me. I always can do that. When it comes to my peers, I get away from them. When when I was younger in my mid 20s, 25, 24, I'm like, man, they, they don't understand. They don't understand a disciplined life because the young people, they just want to run around and do whatever they want. And they had this lie slogan, be young and dumb. I don't have to be young and dumb. I could be young and married. I could be young and follow Jesus Christ. I could be young and, 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 and want me a woman that, that has values, morals, and integrity, even if she is a little older than me, even if she is eight, nine it doesn't matter. It matters the soul. It matters the heart. What is our focus? Where are we headed? And like I said, and I know some younger women might get mad, but the truth is the truth. 
They don't like to put themselves together. They don't want to put themselves together. They look sloppy, some of these younger women. They dress sloppy. They talk. They talk like they they not they like they not have obtained a high school diploma. But you go with this older woman, a little older than you, and you see that, you know what I mean? They 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 they're level minded, they're well balanced, they're well rounded. They know where they're going, some of them. Because not all, all older women, just got to be honest with that too, not all older women are put together. But I'm just saying for the ones who are, like some of my sisters on my, on, on my page, like some of my sisters watching this, I see y'all videos, I see how y'all carry yourself, I see that. And that's why I say an older guy, a younger man, like 28, 29, they'll, they'll be very interested in y'all. Because of how y'all carry yourself, you love Jesus Christ, first of all, first and foremost. And you put yourselves together and you have something to talk about. You're not trying to club and party and do all that. Come home drunk. And you know what I mean? Come home drunk, got the munchies, doing all this stuff. In and out of that. Every weekend, oh, I want to go party. I want to go party. I want to go party. It's nothing wrong with being a homebody. And because I'm young and they's like, oh, you a homebody. You 28, 27 years old. So what? So what with being a homebody? What is out here in this world? I'm a man of God. What do I need to be all posted up in the club for? Why well, I need to be posted up doing all of this stupid Stupid stuff. I'm not of the world. Now, you can go bowling. You can go to the movies. You can do certain things. Go to carnivals. I'm well-rounded. I love bowling. I love playing basketball. But what? where do I need to be at in the club? For what? Why do I need to be out in the club? I, got, I have God to glorify with my lifestyle. I don't know about many other young men. I don't know about many other women. But we have God to glorify. Amen. We have God to glorify with what we do. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10, 31, that let everything we do, eat or drink, let it be unto the glory of God. Okay, so I need to, the things I need to do, it needs to glorify God. It needs to glorify God. God needs to be glorified in what I do. And a lot of young women around my age, they understand that. I, I broke up with so many younger women, like, oh my gosh, I gave no younger women a lot of my time. Because their mind ain't right. They still want to go do this. They still want to be of the world. And you got some younger women that say, oh, I love the Lord. But they still love to be of the world. They still love to go do these worldly things. Gambling, playing lottery. You deal with an older woman that's a little bit older than you. And I, I'm telling you, I know some of these young sisters are going to get mad. I had some sisters get mad. I had some sisters get mad. But it is what it is. Like I said, I see these older women, they take care of themselves, take care of their body. They, they love to eat right. Like I said, they know how to cook. They know how to do all that stuff. So my sisters that are a little older in like mid-30s or late 30s, and you get you a younger man that's substance, that, with substance that love God, and he like 28 or his early 30s, go ahead with him. Go ahead. But make sure the Lord let, leads you, of course. But go with this brother. This brother can love you better. This some of these younger men like myself, because I put myself in the category, we can love y'all better. Oh, you want a man that can keep you young. So what? So what if a, a, a man is younger and, the you know, she, your woman is a little older <laughs> and y'all doing things and he playing basketball and running and then she keeping up with him. She could keep up, keep up. It's nothing wrong with that. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. What the spirit of the Lord is, is liberty and freedom. You're free to do what you're going to do. You're not being a pedophile. You're not messing with no child. This is a grown man. If you're paying your bills and doing your thing, you can do whatever you're going to do. But let's do it holy and respectable, of course. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. What Sister India Bass say? I know, right? What, is, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh man, I love it. I love this conversation. I love this. This is this is awesome. This is good. This is good. But like I said, I'm just stating the points and the reasons why men in their mid twenties or in their late twenties they look towards a woman with more substance. That, that that's right, brother Raymond. It's all about mindset. It's all about the mindset. That's what it's all about. It's all about mindset. And I I'm, I'm telling you, it's all about the mindset. It's all about the mindset. That is exactly what it's about. Some younger men don't want to deal with women who are older and they probably have children. I'm going to get on that too. 
because they're not mentally, their mind not mentally right. Okay, I just got a cut the other day. I got a cut the other day. I was talking to this young dude. He's 24 years old. He honestly told me and was straight up. He was like, you know what? I'm not ready for marriage. And I said, bro, it takes a real man to say that. It takes a real man to really say that. Like, you're not trying to front. He said, I'm not, I'm, I'm not ready for marriage. And he's 24 years old. I said, cool, respect that. He said, what made you get married? You know what I mean? Like, I'm glad I got married. I'm glad I got married. It co Honestly, being married has cultivated the man that was really in me, but that was hidden. I still had some childishness that I had to deal with. But marrying a woman, marrying my woman that I have and my kids that I have, they like, oh, you know what I mean? Like the, the children that I do have and they're like teenagers. Like I love it. It, it, it's, it's cultivated the man that's in me, that the man that God already put in me from birth is helping me become more of a man, more a sound man, more strict, more disciplined. I'm so grateful that I did get married. Now, was I nervous? Yes. I've been married for going on three years in November. And, my, and, and, and I'm going to just say this and be honest. My, me and my wife, were not around the same age. We're not around the same age. We're not around. We're not around the same age. I, I, I and I look at it like that's it's a good thing because I can't deal with I couldn't deal with certain women who are childish and uh, my peers. My what? My woman not around my age. She's not. She's not around my age. And and I thank God. I thank God for that. She's not around my age. My woman is a little bit more up there on the on the age scale. And I know some of y'all women are sensitive about y'all age. I'm not even gonna say hers. I'm not gonna say her age. But she's up there. But I don't care. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Like, I don't I don't care because like I say it's the mindset it's the mindset and any and if any other woman who came to me and had their mind right and they got their life together doing their thing and we can help each other and we have the same mental capacity and mental level we can hold a conversation with substance uh I'm gonna deal with you too I would have dealt with you too like it doesn't mean anything because because a lot of younger women they mind not right I'm telling y'all I've been through the fire with these younger women I've been through the fire. So I'm not saying nothing that I don't understand. I, I dealt with my peers. Oh, my gosh. Something just came to mind. Oh, my gosh. A lot of these young women, this is another thing. Oh, my gosh, boy. I'm, oh, I'm a, some, some people are going to be upset with me, but I love to speak the truth. Some of these younger women are looking to get taken care of. Oh, my gosh. I had relationships like that. They got their hand out looking at what he going to give me, what he going to do this, he going to do this, pay for this, pay for that. You deal with a younger woman, they say... You deal, excuse me, you deal with a woman that's a little older than you, they like, I'm not looking for that. They like, I'm not looking to be taken care of because I can do things myself. I can get my own career. I can get my own money. Now, I'm not saying younger men that are in your mid-20s and in mid-20s to be lazy. I'm not saying that. Don't be lazy. You know what I mean? Don't be lazy. Help your woman out. Help, help. Help help the brown help that brown sugar out. Help that <laughs> help her out. Don't just be don't just be like cause your woman not looking to get her nails done and taken care of and she may be a little older than you. Don't look at that and be lazy and be like, you know what, I got me a woman that hold it down. You hold it down with her. Both of y'all holding it down together with the same mindset. Man, y'all can build an empire together. Y'all can build an empire together. Especially glorifying the Lord. Y'all can do some great, amazing things. So brothers, younger men, don't take advantage that your sis, don't take advantage that your woman that's a little older than you got her career, got her money, got her car, and then you just sit back and be like, you know what, I'm gonna just not do nothing. Nah, y'all work together as a team. Marry that thing, man. Marry that woman. Y'all work together as a team. Y'all work together as a team. She can give you vision and, and you can give her vision and y'all can help each other's dreams come together as one. But you can't deal with no woman that's like that, that's young, and, and they ain't got their mind right. Like I said, younger sisters, please don't misunderstand me. Not a lot of you young sisters are unstable. There are some young sisters who are stable, who want to get married, who do want kids, who do want that. I know that. I've seen 20-year-old years. i seen twenty year old couples who are married, and they brought a home together. 20 years old. Now, at that time, when I was 20, my mind wasn't right. I couldn't get married at 20. I couldn't get married at 20. Nope. You couldn't talk about me about no marriage, none of that stuff. You couldn't talk about me about uh, having children, stepchildren, whatever children. You can't, you, you couldn't talk to me about that. I was like, whatever, I'm, I'm not doing that. 
No. No. But that that all went out the window. Because the thoughts that you have, it's not going to stay the same. The thoughts that you have is not going to stay the same way. When you get older, your thoughts are going to change. Your mind is going to change. It's not going to be the same way. It's not going to be the same way. It's not going to be the same way. But like I said before, there are a lot of young women, they want to get with dudes because of younger dudes. Women, that's my age. I'm 28, like I said. They look for you to take care of them. They look for you to take care of them like what you got to give me. Some of these younger women, some of these younger women, I'm putting emphasis on it, they don't want to work and do nothing. They only want you to do everything. They don't want you to go get their nails done. They don't want you to buy food. They only want you to do this. Pick me up. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Now, I'm not saying a man's not supposed to treat his woman, but I'm saying these younger women around my age and some of you, you brothers age, they only want to be taken care of like a daughter. No, I want a woman that's going to do something. I want a woman that's going to you know, going to have a meal prepared. I want a woman that, you know what I mean, <laughs> that loves the Lord most importantly. But what about the other things? Pay bills, hold down the house. If I have a job outside of, the, of, of town, can you hold down the home when I'm going? Or do you worry about partying and clubbing and dropping the kids off off the grandma or auntie? That's what some of these young women doing. They want to drop their kids off to their auntie, to their grandma, to their grandpa. And just want to do to take care of everything. What are you going to bring to the table? Anybody can open their legs and have sex. But what are you going to bring to the table? What are you going to bring to the table other than your womb? That's not going to do anything. Your beauty can't cook anything. Like what? You looking pretty. That's not going to cook. That's not going to uh, feed a man. Now, I'm not saying men don't cook for your wives and don't cook for your women because I cook for my wife. I cook for my kids. I cook. But my wife does the most cooking. Let's just be real. <laughs> but I'm saying like what some women, they won't lift a finger. And there's some dudes who are OK with that. They're like, I'm going to take care of her. You don't got to lift a finger. Here's the money. Here's this. Here's that. That means your woman is crippled and your woman's lazy. Who wants a woman like that to just lay on her back, look pretty? Don't do anything but yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, honey. Yes, sir. Like, where's your mind at? Like, what in your mind that I don't know that you can help bring to the table so we can both grow and be an empire and we can bloom and blossom together? What can you bring other than yes? Look at me. I look good. What, what is that? that what, what is that? What is that? And that's some of the younger women I've dealt with. Be pretty. They be looking nice, too, before I got married. I'm, I'm like, yeah, they look good. But when you talk to them, no substance, no in-depth conversations, don't understand nothing I'm talking about. It's like I was literally speaking a foreign language when I talked to them. Speaking a foreign language. Speaking a foreign language. Just lay on your back, look good, do this, do that. There's some men that are okay with that. To each his own. You can be okay with your woman not doing nothing, not really having a conversation, just looking pretty and just showing her off like she's a, a mannequin or a trophy. You can do that. That's you. <laughs> but that's not going to be me. And, and, and that shouldn't be. That, that's right, sister. That's the word. That's the word. Sister Eliana, that is the word. Stimulating your mind. Deal with a woman that stimulate your mind. And like I said, there's certain young women that do it. But we're talking about our beautiful older sisters. Amen. There's some beautiful older sisters that have their mind right. They stimulate the younger man's mind who is mature. I'm telling you, a lot of young women like me, but they don't have the mental capacity to handle me when I talk to them. And I say that out of humbleness. They don't understand some of the things I would be talking about because they wasn't focused on Jesus. They wasn't focused on Jesus. I'm going to say it again. They wasn't focused on Jesus. They still want to be of the world. And I'm telling you, they want to have me. But a lot of, a, I can honestly say for myself, a lot of younger women don't see me as no saved dude. They look at me as player. They look at me like, if you just see me without me saying Jesus, some of these younger women look at me like, this dude is a player. This dude not really living saved. I had a younger woman say that to me before. She's like, you're not saved. You don't look saved. You're not really of Jesus. Look how you look. You're like a player. That, that's, that's what you look like. Now, I'm no saint. 
I've done my wrong. <laughs> I've done my wrong. I've, I've, I've been whoremonging. I've been like that. I've, I have. Like I said, I like being real, being honest. I have done that. I have done that. I have done that. You know, I wasn't bed hopping, but I was doing some things that were wrong. In the eyes of God, they were wrong. I had to repent of my ways and turn my ways. I had to turn, turn away from my ways. I have. But at the same time, when it came to some of these younger women that say, oh, I, li I like you, I want you. Then when, I'm, then when I tell them, like, you know what? I'm, I'm not a, any other young man. Like, I'm different. They'll be like, okay, yeah, whatever. But then when it's actually time for me to act and be practical with what I said, they'll be like, oh, whoa, you, you doing this, you doing this God stuff too much. You're doing this Christian stuff too much. And it's like, you see what I'm saying? Like, and those are the younger women that are around my age. Like I said, a lot of them are still in the world. They still want to do this and still want to do that. You deal with a younger, you deal with a woman that's a little older than you, that has her mind together, <laughs> has her mind right. She's going to love you like a king and you love her like a queen. She is. <laughs> Brother Chavis. And that's what a lot of them are like. A lot of them are like that. A lot of them are like that. A lot of them are like that. I, 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 I can't help it that God wired me differently. I'm sorry. Love my younger sisters. I love all sisters' shapes and sizes. I really do. But when it came to me in my younger years, when I was in my mid-20s, early 20s, these younger sisters I see, like, we are not on the same level. We didn't have the same spirit. Because a lot of them wasn't saying who I was dealing with. <laughs> like their mind was just not there. I find myself dealing with a woman and talking to a woman a little bit older. And it's like the conversation just flows. Just flow. Just flow. Because they talk about life. Like Sister Ileana said. Ileana said, stimulate your mind. You know what I mean? They're not looking to be taken care of. They just want a man to really love them. Be faithful. Love God. Handle your business. Take care of your household. Like the Bible says, if you, you're worse than an infidel if you don't take care of your household. You deny the faith. You're worse than an unbeliever if you don't take care of your household. Like I said, there's some younger men that these older women get with, and then these older dudes get upset. Hey, some, some of these sisters that are in their late 30s and early 30s, they see these men, they holding it down. Don't get mad. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't get mad. It's, it is what it is. Oh, man. It's some of this stuff that, that's being talked about, it got me laughing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And a lot of these older men, they'll be like, oh, you ain't nothing but a baby. You ain't nothing but a baby. A baby don't work. A baby don't have hair on his face. You know what I mean? Well, yes, some yes, yes, some of them do because there's some grown men. They have beards and they still have baby mentality. So let me change that. Let me correct myself. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I, uh, like we all say, it's all about the it's uh, it's about the spirit. It's about the the mindset. Um, that's what it's about. You know what I mean? Like that's what it really is about. And I'm gonna get on the sisters. Why? I'm gonna get on the sisters another day. I'm trying to hold back <laughs> because it goes. This goes for both sexes. Because there's some younger women in their mid-20s and late-20s. They look for older men because of how the younger dudes are. But that's to, this is to be continued. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Got a mouthful when it comes to the brothers. I have a mouthful. And especially for the sisters. Like I said, some of these younger women want to get taken care of. Like, no, you, you're, not, you're not my daughter. I'm not going to be taking care of you. Like, it's nothing wrong with taking care of your wife. But I'm saying, like, you just want to just be taken care of. Like, you don't want to do nothing. Just want to be lazy. Like, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. Oh, man, my brother's right. And that's what a lot of sisters are worried about. A lot of younger sisters are worried about. That's it. They just want to do that, Brother Chavis. They just want to look good. At they might as well have a mirror everywhere they walk all day long because some of them just, oh, look at me. But then when you talk to them, I don't know. When you talk to them about something that's important, something that will help their soul, something that can stimulate their mind, a lot of young women are like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, girl, I look so fine. I look so thick. All of that stuff. Now, like I said, don't get it twisted. I love a nice looking woman. 
Don't get it twisted. I'm not even finna sit here in front. Because it's in the nature of man to love a woman. It's in the nature of man to look at a woman. It's in the nature of a man. Because a woman was made for the man, according to the Bible. Woman was made for the man. So don't get it twisted. I look, I'm like, wow, yeah, woo. But it's like, that's all I see. What else? What else can you talk to me about? What, what else? What else that is important? What else can you tell me? And it's and mostly, majority of the time, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Because a lot of women, and I did a video on, on this on my broadcast, they, they, uh, they, 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 they only want to pull you a certain man in and lure them in by their body, by something that's carnal, something that's fleshly, something that has something to do with lust. That's the only reason why they want to pull the man in. And it, it's, well, come on. Hey, that's the time we living in. <laughs> Brother Chambers be dropping in some, 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 some knowledge. That is, that is true. The, the social media is their portable mirror. And I'm so glad that I don't have a wife like that. My wife is not this woman who's just all over social media, showing her pictures, showing her butt, showing her body. Like I said, some of these older women, a lot of these older women who love God and know themselves, they're not trying to do that. If you if some of these women have their husbands and they just care about their husband seeing their body, their husband seeing how they look, they're not trying to show it on Facebook. It's only for you. But you got these younger women, even if they take in a bikini, oh let me let me let me show my backside. Let me see how many likes I get. It's like I only want to see your backside. I only want to see your front side. I don't want everybody else to see it. It it goes vice versa. Some of these sisters, they, they don't want. Us men showing our body out to all these women and posting it on. Come on. It's like, I want to see it. Only me. But a lot of these younger women don't care about that. You can't tell me. You can't tell me. But a lot of you younger women get mad, but you want to play house. You want to play house with the brother. But when the brother say, honey, you know what I mean? Like, respect me. Don't show yourself on, on, on social media. Don't do it like that. You know what I mean? Like, that, that bothers me. You can't tell me you're not my husband. So why are you playing house then? Why y'all playing out? Why you why you doing all that stuff then? And then when he get with a woman that's a little older than him and has her mind together, and who's not trying to suck the man dry, because a lot of young women like to suck men dry. Not trying to suck the man dry, then you want to get mad. Then you want to get mad at the man. Why you want to get mad at the man for? You don't know what you have. You still worry about everything else. Social media, as Brother Chavis said, you still worry about... Just all you want to get is butt injections and, and, and this and that. Don't want to work. Want somebody to take care of you. That's all you want to do. So what do you expect somebody to do? The older ones do it too. Trying to keep up with the younger generation in order to land a man. And, and that's true too. That is true, sister. And that's why I said this topic is broad. Because there are a lot of um, young, older women who still perfectly look fine, but they want to keep up with, they want to keep up with younger, the younger generation and their minds are not even, their minds are not even sound. Why are you trying to, if anything, the sisters that are a little older, they should influence the younger sisters. Not try to follow them and be like them, but that's what happens. That is what's happening. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Sister Terry Ann, are you in here? Sister Terry Ann, are you in here? I just looked at Sister, Sister Terry Ann, I just looked at your comment. You said for some reason the older man, the younger man, I, I always try to talk to you. You should not be surprised, sister. <laughs> like, sister, you should not be surprised. Like, honestly, I just looked at her comment. I just looked at your comment, Sister Terry Ann. You said, for some reason, a younger man, because they see. they that, That's exactly what I'm talking about. Some of these younger men around my age, they see, like, wow, like, you know, some of these, like, this is, this is what I'm talking about. They, oh, I can take, I can take this woman home. You know what I mean? Like, you're not walking around sloppy. You, you, you have respect for yourself. You're not all on social media. Look at me. Look at my body. You're not doing that. You're a holy sister. And some of these men, they see that. Not saying all the men who try to talk to you are the right guy, but some of these men see that you 
You know, they 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 notice what you have. They they see it. And I'm talking to Sister uh, Terry Ann. If you're in here, I just looked at your comment. You said for some younger, for some reason, these, these older men, younger men, but that's what it is. Some of these men, not saying that they have all the right intentions and motives, but some of them, they probably do. You know what I mean? And I don't blame them. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame them. Because our younger sisters, they have fallen off. They're falling off. They're falling off. They don't have nothing to talk about that stimulates your mind and to help you go further and to better yourself. So those are my points. Those are my tips. Those are my reasons from my perspective, from my point of view, because honestly, and in actuality, I have been in that position. So I know what I mean. So those are my reasons. Though, that, that's my point of view. Uh, I thank you all for tuning into my holy broadcast program. <laughs> I thank you all for sharing always. Sister Robinson, wonder what? How you doing, sister? How you doing, sister? Like I said, it's maybe, maybe not. You have, yeah, I mean, you, 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 you have, you know, some men that come to you. They may not be right. They may be right. But like I said, from a younger man, but it's still a man. We see, you know what I mean? Like y'all, you, you're, you, you women on here, you sisters, you're somebody to take home. How you doing, Sister Parker? You're somebody to take home. So that is why they, you know what I mean? Some of these younger men, like I said, they're men who are mature. They don't care if you have children either. They don't care if you have children. They're like, man, I want to be that man for you. I want to be that man of God for you. I want to be that provider. I want to be your spiritual support. There's some younger men who can do that for the woman that's a little older than them. So don't always be like, oh, you young and you a baby. Look at this. Look at these young men's spirits. Look at their spirit. Look at their spirit. That's all you got to do is look at how their spirit is. That's all you have to do. Like I said, my wife is not our, my wife is a little older than me because like, um, like I said, she is and the women around my age, they don't understand me because like I said, they still want to show their body. They still want to be all half naked on social media. I only want to see you. You know what I mean? I only want to see you. And I've always been the type of man to be like, I want a wife. It's good to have a girlfriend, you know what I mean? Take your time, but I don't got no time to be playing house. I don't got no time for that. I ain't have no time for that. And some younger women like, you you act like you old and you got an old soul. This is what they say. Well, I guess I got an old soul then. Like, I don't have time to play house with you. I don't have time to be sexing your body, giving you a bunch of babies, and then you a baby mama. You not even my wife. And that's what's the problem with the young generation. They doing everything backwards. They having sex Having a lot of kids, can't take care of the kids. The man not working, you know what I mean? She don't got her mind together. He don't got they, his mind together. They just having sex with each other. Many babies popping out. No baby, no no money, no home. And that's what I'm talking about. That's 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 the younger generation today. That's it. That's the younger generation today. Just want to sex, not for love. They sexing because of feeling. I'm going to say that again. A lot of youngins... Because I'm 28. They are sexing for lust. They're not sexing because of love. It's lust. That's why you can have baby after baby after baby. And then this brother not working, not doing anything. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I say I'm trying to hold back for, I'm trying to hold back why sister's leaving these younger men. But, ah, they keep bleeding out. Like, <laughs> I, I keep trying to hold myself. I, I keep trying to hold myself, God. Like, I didn't want to just be, I didn't want to just lay up with, with, with women and lay up with this woman and lay up with that woman and get a bunch of babies in America. That's not what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do. I want something more foundational. I want I want something more, way more important. You know what I'm saying? Like, where are we going? I don't want you to just, I don't want to just lay up with you and I don't want you to just sit up and just be pretty. Be pretty. Be exclusive. A lot of young women do not know how to be exclusive. A lot of young women are not exclusive. That's why I said these younger men, they're going with these older women. They don't know how to be exclusive. What exclusive mean, Ryan? Exclusive mean only what you do privately, 
You only show me, do it to me, that's it. You're not trying to show the world. You don't care about the world's approval. You don't care about Instagram, social media, Twitter. You only want to be exclusive, one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of young women ain't like that. But how can you obtain, how can you uphold something you don't even understand? Y'all under, understand this on different... Like, my understanding was different from the women that are my peers. My understanding was way different. You got some of them caring about materialism, care about the nice car. You know what I'm saying? These days, the values of a real man, they don't care about that. They want the man, like I said, who can take care of them, who got a nice car, who got money, but then abusive and then the devil. The man who struggling, but he trying to get himself together. You see these, these older women that are up there? How they mind right there, see a potential in a younger man like myself and be like, you know what? I can deal with him. I can deal with him. I can deal with him. But the younger woman around my age, in the in, the, in my bracket, some of the women that are younger, they'll be like, you know what? He broke. He don't got no money. He don't got no money. You know, I, I can't deal with him right now. They got to get the quick fix, man. So they'll leave the good man with the morals. They'll leave the good man that's full of integrity. They'll leave the good man and go get with the man with money. Go get with the man that got stuff already. But the older women with their mind together, who got their thing going on, and they see the brother doing what he's doing, but he has the most important things. He has morals. He has integrity. He has Jesus. Some of these older women, they'll be like, come here, baby. Come here, baby. And then some of these younger women will be like, how you got with him? Why you, how you... And then it's like, some people see potential. This is the part that younger women miss. Some of these women, some of the older women, they, can, they cultivate things out of a man. When Adam was in the garden, Adam didn't do everything right. So a woman came and was a help meet for him. A woman can help a man get to where he needs to go, even though the man is leading. A strong woman that has insight, enlightenment, her, clout, her judgment is not clouded up or fogged up with foolishness and wickedness. She can help a man that has potential. But the younger generation is taught to get with the man with money right now, right now, right now. We live in a microwavable generation. That's why the man with the good morals, they get passed up quick. That's what happened to me. Got passed up real fast. Things got better when I got with my wife. Things started changing. Faith started growing. Cult cultivation started to happen. Stimulation started to happen. But I, I couldn't do that with, when I was with them ex-girlfriends and their mind was wicked, foolish, still of the world. I couldn't, I couldn't grow with that. Couldn't grow with that. Couldn't grow with that at all. No. No, could not grow with nobody like that. Couldn't grow with that. And I thank God that, you see, everything that looked bad is really not bad. It's really a blessing because who's to say if I would have stayed with one of them? <laughs> But I had enough sense to say God has more for me. God has better for me. A lot of relationships I left. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get dumped. I left them because I saw. I'm like, man, this is not. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I seen what would happen down the line. It's like this is not what I want for my life. So I did this. <laughs> I did that, and I'm glad I did. But that's what's going on with the younger women. Like I said, my reasons, my points. True actual points, they get rid of the man that has morals because of a man don't got no money. He don't got himself together now, but a man trying to get himself together. Then next thing, next thing you know, years later, he'll be doing his thing. And then the younger women who threw him away, I see him with the little older woman with more substance. Then she'll get mad like, you think you all that now? It's like, hey, I was trying to be that man for you, but because I didn't have things that are materialistic, you threw me away. <laughs> you threw me away because I didn't have material things that I could have got if you was patient, but you wasn't patient. You, Like I said, the generation is microwavable now. Young, men, young people my days, this whole world is like that. Everything's quick. Fast food generation. We live in a fast food, quick, fast generation. You know what I mean? So that's why these young sisters losing these good younger men. Because the women know what they, the older, the older women, they know what they're doing. They're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. Truth is truth. It is what it is. Bro, oh, 
You are describing my former st- <laughs> I ain't even know. I know I'll be I know I'll be talking to somebody. I'm describing I'm, you, you said I'm describing your former uh single life. A lot say they want an empire, but will leave you as you grab the bricks and tools to build it. Oh my gosh. Bro. Bro. Bro, that's the same thing that happens to me. That's the same thing that happened to me. But like I said, bro, Chavis, I was I was leaving these younger women that was around my age because they didn't understand. I'll leave them. I'll leave them. You know, at the time I was I was about them. I was full of them, but man, I left them alone, man. Like, uh, mm mm. <laughs> mm mm. I left some of these. I left them women alone because they they couldn't handle. And it's not handling me like trying to be boastful. It's like how my mind is, my spirit. It couldn't handle that. And I already knew that we were going to go in different directions. So I just left. I, I already saw it. But I could go on and on, y'all. I love y'all. I thank y'all for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Please do. Uh, it's going to be more sound, sober uh, truth being brought to you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. That's all that's going to be brought on this page. Glorifying the most high Elohim Yahweh. That's all I do on my broadcasts and on my program and have discussions, talks, and to speak truth and give clarity. And I say this out of faith. This is better than CNN. This is better than NBC. This is better than ABC because there's nothing false coming from here. All those media outlets, they're false. It's, they share false information. I thank God for the broadcast. I thank God for raising it up. I've been doing this for four years. Uh, I don't know when I actually started. Y'all, those who have an ear, but I thank God that it's moving forward and it's moving strong. And I, I'm just going to continue to be consistent. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you all. I'm, I'm glad that I'm at a position that I can pour into people. And you, you, you all can continue to pour into me. You all continue to pour into me. Let's continue to pour into each other in the name of Jesus Christ. I love my older sisters. Like I said, my wife is a little older than me. Y'all, don't be limited. God is not limited. Don't be limited. Don't look at age. Sister Terri Ann, you see these younger men? Let the younger man take you out who, who's doing what he got to do. You know what I mean? You, you see he's, he's level-headed. He's well-balanced. He's even-tempered. He has the Holy Ghost. He want God. I, I recommend you, you should talk to him because somebody... Like I said, I'm not trying to talk about the older men. I'm not trying to talk about the men yet, but some of these men, they still not right up there either. But I'm going to talk about that another day. <laughs> so I'm going to hold my tongue. I'm trying. I'm trying, boy. I am trying. But uh, God knows I'm trying, but sometimes it keeps spilling out like a, like a jack in the box. But I'm glad you all enjoyed the telecast, the broadcast. Like I said, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm going to put it in the comments. Um... I just like to talk about different, many things, especially truthful things that needs to be shared. Uh, amen. And uh, like I said, I do love you all. Continue to pray for me. Continue to go on strong in your marriage, Brother Chavis. God bless each and every one of you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you do find your, your mates, that you do find your spouses. And I pray, Brother Chavis, in the name of Jesus Christ, that your marriage continue to bear fruit in the name of Jesus, that you continue to submit to Jesus, you and your lovely wife. I'm grateful that you all are my brothers and my sisters in Christ. And I say that from the bottom of my heart. Continue to live holy. Continue to uh, fight the good fight of faith. And to continue to don't grow weary and well-doing. Continue to trust in the Lord. Continue to glorify God, as 1 Corinthians 10, 31 says. Love the Lord with all your soul, all your mind. Give God your, your attitude. Give God your... Uh, your emotions, give God your mind, give God yourself. In due time, the Lord is the Lord is gonna do what He says He's gonna do because He He never lies. Amen. So continue to enjoy your Saturdays. Continue to enjoy your Saturday. And uh continue to seek the kingdom. Continue to seek the kingdom. Be blessed in Yahshua's name. By the grace of God, you'll see me again. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Peace.